Hello, dear friends. Today I want to take you on an exciting journey, the Kawaf Herat Railway, a road that is a fusion of ancient heritage and modern technological advancement. This railway line, which starts from Kawaf in Iran and continues to Herat in Afghanistan, is not only a route for transporting people and goods, but also provides a bridge between the past and present of this land. As you can see this map, this is the map of Kawaf Herat Railway, which is 225 kilometers long. The work of this project has been completed from Kawaf, Iran to Roznak, Afghanistan, which is about 140 kilometers long. And from Roznak area to Herat industrial town, the work of this project has not been completed yet. But the work of this project has started about a month ago, and it is supposed to be finished in another year. As you can see in the picture, the work of this project is going on. This Iranian railway route from Kawaf to Rozanak in Herat province, Afghanistan, was opened a few months ago to be a victory and an introduction to connecting the east to the west of the Asian continent and to Europe. Although this plan initially facilitates the process of Iran's export to Afghanistan, it completes a 2,000 kilometer rail corridor from China, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Turkey, and Europe to the economic interactions between the five East Asian countries. The West accelerates the continent. The importance of starting this rail network for the people of Afghanistan is that this project connects Afghanistan as a landlocked country to Europe from a safe route to the open waters of the world in the southern ports of Iran. Kawaf Herat Railway Line is a part of this corridor where trains pass through Afghanistan and enter Iran. But in about 1,148 kilometers of this corridor, the proposed 2,000 km railway line from the provinces of Kunduz, Balkh, Jauzyan, Faryab, Badgis, and Herat will pass Afghanistan. In any case, one of the advantages of this strategic rail line with the capacity to move 6 million tons of goods per year in the first phase is the easier and cheaper shipping speed of the export and import goods of the two countries. The strategic plan of the Kawaf Railway in the east of Iran to Herat in the west of Afghanistan is an important piece of the communication puzzle between the countries of the region. Its implementation was started in 2007 to make the rail route between Kaf, located 267 kilometers southeast of Mashhad, in the form of a railway line with a length of about 225 kilometers to the city of Herat, located in the northwest of Afghanistan. Afghan cargoes are currently transported by road to Chabahar port and other Iranian cities through Iran's road network. The Kawaf Herat railway line will further strengthen this trade. In fact, the consequences of the Kawaf Herat railway line will be felt beyond these two cities and even the two countries that connect them. It is reminded that this railway line, which in addition to its commercial use, has the capacity to transport more than one million passengers between the countries of the region, had been in trouble for some time due to the recent changes and developments in Afghanistan, which has been resolved over the past year with follow-ups and the efforts of engineers and specialists, the line was completed and the first freight train entered Afghanistan from Iran a few months ago. This strategic and important action in the country's transportation industry, which was carried out with the support and accompaniment of the Islamic Republic of Iran Railways and the Iran-Afghanistan Railway Consortium, has led to a permanent safe line for active freight and can provide new access for trade between the two countries. Provide the country. Although experts have high expectations from the Five Country Railway Corridor project and the recent opening of the Kawaf Herat Railway in the participating countries, it is likely that the road ahead will not be easy as it was accompanied by initial challenges and this project is likely to have implementation problems and there will also be competition from rival projects. That is, competition from other actors and their connection projects can also weaken the prospect of connecting Iran and Afghanistan. For example, Pakistan, like Iran, hopes to emerge as a major transportation hub and is trying to attract the exports of Central Asian countries to its ports. It was in 2020 that Iran and Afghanistan opened the first cross-border railway link between the two countries. The work on this 225 kilometers railway line started in 2007. This $75 million railway was financed by Iran as part of the development aid to Afghanistan. 
since Iran's trade with Afghanistan is growing. Since 2017, Tehran has replaced Pakistan as Afghanistan's largest trading partner. The improvement of land connections, such as the Dalaram Zaranj Highway, built by India or the Route 606 connecting Afghan cities, through the Garland Highway to the Iranian border, has facilitated the growth of this trade. Analysts also believe that the five-nation rail corridor project will face fierce competition from the Middle Corridor Rail Network, which instead of going through Iran and Afghanistan, will go to China from Turkey, the South Caucasus, and Central Asia. As mentioned, the five-nation railway corridor strengthens the capacity of travel and transportation of goods between the member countries and strengthens their economies, but it also gives the landlocked countries of Central Asia access to the Persian Gulf and the Sea of Oman. For Central Asian countries, this will be a shorter and cheaper route than a route like the Kazakhstan-Uzbekistan-Turkmenistan-Iran rail corridor. In the past, weak bilateral relations between Central Asian countries, low level of regional integration, and inefficient border transit have been obstacles to intra-regional and inter-regional trade. The said railway will reduce their dependence on Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan as well as Russia. While trade between Herat and Kawaf itself could help Herat emerge as a commercial hub, if the five-country rail corridor project were to take off, the city could become a regional hub for trade and goods transit, become China, Central Asia, or Iran. Afghan analysts say that this city can become Iran's gateway to Central Asia or Central Asia's gateway to Iran. In connection with Iran, the development of this project is part of Iran's larger strategy in Afghanistan. Tehran is eager to create more jobs and reduce poverty in Western Afghanistan in order to reduce immigrants to Iran. In this regard, communication projects such as Kawaf Herat Railway and Chabahar Zahedan Mashhad Railway will improve economic development in the eastern provinces of Sistan and Baluchistan, South Khorasan, Razavi Khorasan, and Kerman. Thank you for watching.